the marvelous city. Stunning views and golden beaches, but you might think twice before you splash in. Lurking under Rio's waters, raw sewage, and now what scientists describe as super bacteria. Researchers at the Rio Federal University tested the city's beaches for a year and discovered high levels of the dreaded superbug, drug-resistant bacteria that have been turning up in hospitals. We believe that through hospital sewage, it goes to the municipal sewage and it gets to the Guanabara Bay or through other rivers and it finally gets to the beach. The highest levels of superbacteria found on the shores of Guanabara Bay, site of the Olympic sailing event a month from now. German Paralympic sailor Heiko Kroger says you can't be overcautious. It's a nice sailing uh, area, but uh, every time you've got some water in your face, it feels like uh, there's uh, some alien enemy uh, entering your face, so I keep my nose and my, my lips closed. His colleague, Eric Heil, blamed the bacteria-infested waters for a skin infection he got while training. Authorities, however, say athletes and visitors will be safe, and the sailing arena has internationally acceptable levels of bacteria. According to Rio's water utility, half the homes in Rio State are now connected to the sewage system, up from 11 percent. Of course, the wastewater treatment plants are not prepared for the super bacteria because it's brand new, it's something new. And something the water utility says it will look into further. But scientists say the superbug is also washing up on some of Rio's most touristy beaches, which are already deemed too polluted to swim in by authorities a good third of the year. This water right here isn't treated. It's supposed to be for rain runoff, but it often fills with garbage. It stinks of raw sewage and it dumps right here on the beach. Another cloud overshadowing Rio's troubled Olympics. Shasta Darlington, CNN, Rio de Janeiro.